Hi there. My name is Francesca Barrett. I'm a mom who chose to breastfeed my baby for a variety of reasons. Along with other benefits, breast milk offers a perfect nutritional balance of protein, carbohydrates, fat, and other nutrients in forms a baby's digestive system can easily break down and process. That's why the American Academy of Pediatrics and other authorities recommend breast milk as the ideal food for your baby. Your breast milk comes in three phases. Colostrum, a thick yellowish fluid, is available before giving birth and will supply your baby's first nutrition. Your baby benefits right away from its easy to digest proteins, vitamins, and minerals, as well as from the protective antibodies it has. That's why it's referred to as liquid gold. It has more protein and less fat than the breast milk that will come later. Transitional milk usually appears two to five days after birth. It's whiter and creamier than colostrum. Mature milk typically appears 10 to 14 days after birth. It's thinner than transitional milk and can have a bluish tint to it. Despite its appearance, mature milk has all the nutrients needed to support your baby's growth and development. During each feeding, your breasts will have periodic milk ejection reflexes, also known as the letdown reflex, where the volume of milk released increases. You will also notice at the end of each feeding that your breast milk gets thicker and creamier looking. This milk, sometimes called hind milk, is especially rich in good fat, which helps your baby feel full, satisfied, and sleepy. And who doesn't love a content sleeping baby? When I first started breastfeeding, it didn't go as smoothly as I would have hoped. Now I tell my friends, it's a new learned skill for both mom and baby. Learning how to breastfeed comfortably is the result of patience, practice, and correct latch on and positioning techniques. But once you learn the basics, it becomes easier and more natural than ever. And it's a wonderful way to bond with your baby. In addition to bonding, breastfeeding also offers you some important health benefits. Because breastfeeding burns calories, it may help us lose pregnancy weight more rapidly. Women who have breastfed also tend to have lower rates of ovarian and breast cancer. And some studies even suggest that breastfeeding may ultimately help increase bone mineral density, which could protect us against osteoporosis later in life. In fact, breastfeeding is so beneficial for moms and our babies, yet the American Academy of Pediatrics recommends continuing to breastfeed until at least baby's first birthday and beyond, as long as mom and baby wish to continue. Join me now as I share some breastfeeding tips with my friend and her newborn baby. You know, even though breastfeeding is a natural thing, positioning and latch on techniques are learned skills. Remember, it takes many women patience and practice. So give it time. Hi, Kelsey. Hi, sweet girl. <gasps> yes, <gasps> sweet girl. So before you begin breastfeeding, take some time to get comfortable. You have some pillows handy. You can place a bed pillow in your lap or use a nursing pillow. It'll help you support the baby's head and weight to bring her up to breast level as you breastfeed. You also want to minimize distractions like ringing phones and televisions. And one more thing, staying well hydrated is essential for adequate milk production. I recommend having a glass of water to sip each time you sit down to breastfeed. Think about establishing a nursing station. It includes a comfortable chair with good back support, pillows, and a glass of water right within your reach. Good advice. You know, with practice, breastfeeding is going to become more and more natural for you and your baby. As time goes on, you'll become more comfortable with breastfeeding almost anywhere, anytime. Shall we review latch on and positioning? Yes. There's several holes that you can use. Whatever hold is easier for you and your baby, Kelsey, is what matters. So just let's start with the cradle hold. Okay. So before we begin, let's place a bed pillow on your lap. Or you can use a nursing pillow. Either one is fine. This will help support the weight of your baby and keep her close to you at your breast level. Position your baby tummy to tummy with the head and neck in the crook of your arm like this. Then with the other hand, you're going to hold your breast in a C hold. So the thumb is going to be on top and then the four fingers are underneath in like the C shape. Be sure to keep your fingers away from the areola, the darker skin around your nipple. 
your baby will latch on about an inch from the tip of your nipple, so your fingers should be out of the way, and this ensures your baby's far enough onto the breast and able to milk the breast correctly. Proper latch on and positioning are important to help prevent nipples from getting sore. Okay, now let's have your baby latch on. Sounds good. With the tip of your nipple, stroke her face. Okay, this will make your baby turn toward your breast. It's called the rooting reflex. Once she's turned toward you, tickle her lips with your nipple, and this will cause Kelsey to open her mouth wide to help with latch on. Keep tickling until her mouth is open really wide. Once her mouth is open, lift her to your breast with your cradle arm. There. That's perfect. <laughs> See how far she is on your breast? Okay. Once Kelsey starts nursing, after a few seconds, you'll hear her start swallowing. And after a few minutes, a change in her suck-swallow rhythm from fast sucks to long, slow sucks with gulping will happen. This is when the milk ejection reflex or letdown reflex is occurring. You may have several milk ejection reflexes during a feeding. Some moms may feel the reflex, which can be kind of a tingling sensation or a short dart of pain in the breast, but it's also normal not to feel anything at all. At the end of each feeding, Kelsey will get that creamy milk that's rich in fat sometimes called hind milk. That'll help her feel full and satisfied. Got it. Now let's practice taking her off the breast. So to protect your nipple from being pulled, take your index or pinky finger, slide it into the corner of her mouth between the gums, and then slowly pull her off the breast. As always, make sure your hands are clean and your nails are clipped relatively short. Now let's try the cross cradle hold. It's easy, as it is similar to cradle. Basically, it's the position that you're in now, same positioning as cradle, except one hand is holding Kelsey's head, while this hand is holding your breast like this. Okay, and to remember which breast you last nursed on, use a safety pin attached to your bra strap or fold a portion of your nursing pad as a reminder. So you should feed your baby between 8 and 12 times in a 24-hour period, about every 2 or 3 hours. Also, it's normal for babies to nurse more often, especially in these early days. You may notice that your newborn is more wakeful and feeds more frequently during the night. And many babies do what is called cluster nursing, spacing their feedings closer together at certain times of day and going longer between feedings at other times. So should I wake her in the middle of the night to feed her or can I let her sleep a little bit longer? Well, you can let her sleep a little while longer at night, but in the first few weeks, experts recommend waking your baby at least every four hours. If you ever wake her up and she doesn't want to feed, lay her back down and then give it another try about a half an hour later. So how do I know when she's hungry and when she's full? Watch for things like lip smacking, sucking fingers and rooting, you know, turning her head toward your breast. Mm -hmm. These are signs that your baby's hungry. She'll also give you cues that she's finished with the first breast or full and done eating. If your baby falls asleep or releases your nipple and turns her head away, burp her and then offer the other breast. If she doesn't take the other breast, it may be a sign that she's satisfied. Got it. Let's try another position called the football hold. Okay. This position gives you free use of one hand, and it allows you to have better head control facilitating latch on. So the football hold is a good position to use if you're having some difficulty with latch on at first. This is a good hold for moms who have had cesarean birth because the baby's positioned on mom's side like holding a football. To start, use a pillow on your lap and a pillow on your side like this. Now let's place baby on your side. Kelsey. Angle her in toward your breast with your hand, holding the base of her head and neck. Now let's take your other hand and hold your breast in a C hold, like we did in cradle hold. Bring her head up to you, tickle her lips, wait until she opens her mouth, and swoosh, latch her on. Great. She's latched on well. Good job, Kelsey. Notice how her mouth is moving and her lips are curled out? Yes, I'm so glad to see it. I'll look for that going forward. So how do I know when she's done eating. Her hunger and fullness cues will tell you when she's had enough at each feeding, but it's also important to keep track of her wet and dirty diapers, as they are good indicators of whether she's eating enough throughout the day. In the early weeks, you'll want to see six or more wet diapers every 24 hours and at least three bowel movements. Her bowel movements the first two or three days will be meconian, which is a sticky tarry stool, and then they'll change to a mustard yellow color and they'll be kind of seedy looking, which is normal. Shall we go ahead and try the last position, which we call side-lying? I didn't know I had so many options. The side-lying position works well at night, especially when you and baby are tired. You'll be lying down in a bed on your side. Your arm just comes up underneath your head or around from the back, uh, cradling her head like you have it. And you're going to lay your baby next to you, tummy to tummy. 
breastfeeding this position takes some practice. You'll find your own comfort level. Thank you so much for all your help. Mm. I've learned so much. You're welcome. Looks like you both are off to a great start. Welcome to the Gerber